What's happening, Kim folk? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you, America, baby. So today, what we're doing, man, is uh, we just got done riding, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw down on this new bike my son got, the BMW. Uh, we are going to actually do clay bar it. We're going to polish it, wax it, and then my dad got some F11 that we're gonna throw on top of it. So uh, let me show y'all what we're using for that. Babushka is actually washing the bike now and we'll get it all washed dried off and then we'll start doing everything here so what we're working with here is we've got the Meguiar's quick detailer with the Meguiar's clay bar um, so the clay bar looks like this and basically what you do man is you uh, Missed it with that you clay bar it out and the clay bar actually takes out the clay bar actually takes out any kind of grit or grime that's in the paint in the clear coat and just makes it smooth as can be man so we've done it with all our vehicles um, we did it with this truck when we first got it we did it with Sky when we first got her and I've done my bike before so uh, it just makes it so much better man and then after we clay bar it we will move to the Meguiar's polish. So then you polish the bike, which actually adds uh, adds another layer, um, another layer to the bike to the clear coat. So it really makes the paint pop, man. Um, so then once you polish it, uh, that kind of puts a barrier in between the clear coat and the wax which you'll add after the polish so what we have here is the Meguiar's uh, Carnanuba plus premium paste wax so once we polish it then we will turn around and wax it uh, and then after we wax it we're gonna be putting the F11 made by top coat Master Craftsman Polish and Sealer. Uh, Multi-surface application and wax replacement technology. So we're going to be using that after we wax it. So uh, once we do that, then the next time all Bubba will have to do is go back with either a quick detailer or the F11 again, man. And, uh, and that way it'll bring out the shine again and just like a quick detail wax. So this is going to take a little while, man. Uh, clay barn a vehicle or a motorcycle always takes a bit because you have to uh, make sure that you get everything so we'll be taking the seats off and then clay barn all the paint paint only so uh, we'll do that his bike may not be too bad when I had to do old blue man it took me all day long so his bike probably not gonna be too bad so what we'll do is we'll finish wa uh, washing it babushka will finish washing it and then uh, after that, we'll dry it off really well, and then we'll go ahead and get started with clay barning. So once we get there, I'll get back with y'all and then explain what we're doing as we're doing it. All right, Kim folks, so what you're going to do is you want to make sure you spray that lube spray on there. Make sure you get it nice and lubed up and just uh, run the clay bar over it can never have too much lube on there so run the clay bar over it and once you feel it run smooth that's when you know that that area is done now you never never want to do this when the bike or the vehicle is hot or you never want to make it to where the clay bar is dry because it will stick and it will end up leaving the clay bar on the paint you don't want that so you always want to make sure the bike is cool or the the, the vehicle is cool you want to do it in a shaded area and uh, and then once you get a section done let's see Bubba once you get a section done show me the clay bar once it starts getting black and stuff you'll take it and just meet it into each other into itself take it and yeah and just run that in there and smash it around and then you'll spread it back out to get you a nice clean piece of clay bar again and then you'll keep going so can you feel the difference no there wouldn't it wouldn't that bad 
All right, so he's gonna keep going. Do we have to wipe that off before it dries? Uh, yeah, we'll wipe that residue off. So let me get, uh, I'll get a microfiber and wipe that off. But um, go do, we're gonna do the fairing, fender, then we'll work to the tank and then we'll work to the tailpiece. So let's go ahead and do it. And also another thing, Ken folk, if you end up dropping that clay bar on the ground, throw it away. Do not reuse it because it will collect little particles of dirt and when you put it on your bike or your your vehicle it will scratch the shit out of it so the clay bar has to be as clean as possible man like i said if you drop it throw it away get another little piece and and start over with it so this one's actually not that bad bubba says it's pretty smooth already so um it won't take that long so that's good so but once we put the polish and shit on there it's really gonna pop so let's get uh let's get started all right, so now, now we got the polish. Let me see the polish again. We got the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. Now, on the polish, Kim folk, what you want to do is you want to do a little section at a time. You don't want to go and do a whole bunch. It's not like wax. Put it all over and then... Fuck, fucking lighting. <laughs> it's not like wax. You don't want to put it over the whole bike and then come back and try to wipe it off. It will not work. So do a little section at a time with the applicator pad put the polish on and then with the microfiber wipe the polish off so let's get Bubba to do a little section so you're gonna start over here put it on the pad or on put the it pad? on the pad just a little bit what the fuck There you go. And then do this section right here. I mean, it is like applying wax, so you'll just do circles, wipe it on. And then as soon as you get done with that section, you want to come back and wipe it off with the microfiber. Just like that there. Ah, damn, I can see Hammerhead right there. Pull your head back. There's Hammerhead right there. <laughs> All right, so we'll continue to do that over the rest of the bike. And actually, man, this bike wasn't too bad, right? So to do the clay bar, man, it didn't take us long because you don't really have a lot of plastics on here as far as painted plastics. So we've just got this here, this little bit section here, the tank and then the tail section and that's it everything else is powder coated or plastic pieces so it didn't take long at all but we got some stuff for that too we'll be using so uh let's go ahead and finish polishing out the paints the painted parts and we'll get uh we'll get to the next step after that all right y'all so bubba got ahead of me he ended up already waxing it he put the wax on and uh just wiped it all off and look at that shine, boys. Wait till it hits the sunlight. But uh, it's super smooth, Humbo. Yeah. God dang. <laughs> Shit. So now what we're going to do, man, is we're going to go ahead and throw that uh, F11. That top coat F11 that my dad gave us. So we're going to try that and put it on there. And then we got one other thing to, for the black plastics I'm going to put on there. And then that'll be it. She'll be done. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, Kim folk, F11 all up on there. Uh, the bike is finished. And then we ended up using this uh, shine that I got from Spectro Performance Oils, man, whenever they uh, sponsored the oil change the other time. And this stuff is amazing. So uh, he put it on all the plastics and uh, the black plastics to give it that good shine. But uh, look, let, let's show you a little sparkle darkles. Look at here. That thing looks good. Looks good. So, it's all done up, man. And then this, here's what we put that shine on. So, makes it nice and shiny. Good stuff. So, that's it, man. The bike's done. It's clay barred, polished, waxed. And then f 11 So, what do you think, Babushka? Came out good? Came out good? All right. Well, that's it, Kim, folk. I appreciate it. Much love, much respect. 
Knuckles out.